Yo yo yo! It's me. I'm serving uh very much Mary Kate and Ashley vibes right now. Hi guys, I'm trying to film this YouTube video for you, but I am dealing with a lot of distractions. Looking at a spider. Me and a spider. Eye to eye. Oh god. Something's outside. There's so many ants. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Maybe I need to move. Are there ants over here? Oh my god, there's ants everywhere. Parrot. Literal parrot. Should I walk and vlog? Wow, she's blind. She's blind. No, she's gay. He climbed the highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest. But he's gay. I mean, he's gay. Excuse me, he's blind. Dog loves me. Just doesn't know it. Bugs, birds, dogs. We have it all. Thank you guys for going on that journey with me. Um, in other news, I got my camera stolen, so that's why we're filming on this, but I'm hoping that we could do something about this audio, make it a little better. It should be a little better now. <laughs> a few weeks ago, I had the chance to direct my own collection of stock footage for this company called Storyblocks. I don't know if you guys know a lot about stock footage, but it tends to not be very diverse. There's not a lot of inclusivity when it comes to stock footage. Storyblocks is a really cool database. They have a huge library, everything's royalty free, and it is demand driven. So the whole initiative of restock in general, which is this project, came because people were asking for more diverse footage and they heard them and they said, okay, we'll create it. And Storyblocks asked me to be one of the contributors to their Queer Spaces and Faces collection. Is it Faces and Spaces or Spaces and Faces? Faces and Faces. They found six different contributors, directors, creators to create their line and I'm one of those people. It's not a pride campaign thing. It's literally just, one more step in making sure that their collection looks like the world around us. If you guys don't know what stock footage is, it is basically just like a database of video clips and moments that people can use, creators can use in like commercials or music videos or any video project or even photo project that they're working on. I actually had firsthand experience with stock footage being so limited when I was working on a video for Joy Alatakun, who is a friend and artist that I know and work with sometimes. And check out Joy's music if you haven't, you should. Go listen, it's great. Also, I took a picture of her that ended up in Times Square, which is pretty cool, it's pretty cool. All I was trying to find was two women's hands touching. You would think that would be pretty easy ask and I couldn't find it anywhere. Yeah, this is actually a very big problem and now I get to be a part of being the solution, which is awesome. Representation means everything to me. It is the reason that I am alive today. Um, I think it is the most important thing for people to grow up seeing themselves in media. In 2021, media is everywhere. And if you don't feel that you are represented, it is really isolating and it can feel like whoever you are, whatever you think and believe and feel uh, doesn't exist outside of your little bubble, that you're the only person, when in reality we know that no one is alone and that representation can be life or death for people. It really can be the reason that you know who you are and the reason that you know that who you are is okay and more than okay, it's celebrated and beautiful and amazing and yeah, representation is everything. Today I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the BTS of the days of shooting it and also what the collection itself kind of looks like. I wanted to make sure that my collection with them was super authentic and authentic to me and I thought the best way to do that would be uh, to ask you guys for your help. And so I actually ended up shooting for two days with two different people that I found through my own Instagram. On Saturday, I got to shoot with a beautiful couple, Sarah and Cecilia and I had so much fun and was nervous myself, but uh, <laughs> I think it turned out okay. And then on Sunday, I got to shoot with a queer family. Shiana and her two sons and her partner, Angie, came and were amazing and had so much energy and I've never shot kids before. You wanna see yourself? Go to the sit there. Look how handsome you are. Yes. <laughs> so happy and they loved my camera. Yeah, but no matter where, 
Yeah, no, yeah. yeah, I don't think so. Okay, if you be really gentle, hold it with your fingers so you hear like that. This is just too cool. That is really cool. Record your, your little brother. <laughs> I see my mommy. Wait, mommy's changing. Oh, oh, there you go. Mommy. She'll come out and let it Okay. Here you go. Jessie. 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 Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy the clips from the BTS and the videos that I shot and whatever this masterpiece is. <laughs> you guys can check out my collection of story blocks at storyblocks.com slash now this is living and just learn more about restock and everything that they're doing. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. I love you guys. Bye. Bye. I was in the third grade that thought that I was gay and I was because my uncle was, and I like to keep my room straight. The pun, you guys, the pun. We really didn't appreciate that pun enough. Thanks, Macklemore. How's everybody doing? I'm so sleepy. <laughs> yeah, I love you guys. Thanks for watching my video.